Hi there, Ken from Tenny Bit Repair Guide. We're getting really deep into the speaker stuff now. And this video here, I want to show you what a capacitor does to the speaker signal. Imagine that you want to only use like the deep sounds or the high sounds. Well, you can do that with these components, these kind of components, the capacitor has the ability that it will start to work as a resistor towards deeper sounds depending on what size you have and depending on the resistive load or actually it's the impedance of the speaker in the system. It will have a certain uh, frequency of sound that it that it starts to cut some of the sound from. But I, I, I will illustrate that. This is a little bit uh, was a lot of concepts uh, just yapping about it. So I'm going to show you. So I've chosen a piece of music, Massive Attack Teardrop, where I find it's easy to hear this. So it has some nice light voice. So here's full range from this little, um, little speaker driver here. And first I want to show you a 2.2 microfarad uh, capacitor. As you can hear, a bunch of the deep tones disappeared. 10 microfarads, so a little bit smaller capacitance. Let's see, it becomes very thin now. And lastly, 3.9. And it's just like a little tweeter playing. Where really it is a full range speaker. So that's how you can filtrate frequencies in what you call a crossover. So this is a very basic type of filter, this right here. It's called a first order filter or 6 dB per octave filter. So what you can, you, you, you probably seen some more advanced crossovers, you might have. And, and that is because you will start to use uh, more advanced concepts of this. Where you will start to use an inductor which has a complete reverse effect of this. Uh, we'll get into another video with that, with with the particularly the the inductor, and what you will do is that you will take that which leads the low sounds instead of this one that leads the high sounds. That one leads the low sounds, and you'll actually use that as a short circuit to minus, and you combine those two the signed at the same frequency, at that crossover frequency, and you will have a second order filter or a 12 dB per octave filter. So as you can hear, you can simply protect a tweeter by using one of these capacitors. Here is Ken from Tanning Bit Repair Guide. Very nerdy about the sound, but I hope you like it. Take care, guys.